after some insanely crazy winds yesterday and rain all day. It was really, 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 really windy last night. Very foggy, couldn't even see the mountains. Clear morning today. This is our long hike back to our room from the breakfast area from this cottage hotel. I wasn't afraid but that the whole cottage is going to blow away. It was so the, noise, the window was cracked. So the bad. building was shaking. It was crazy, but today we are treated to bright sunshine. We didn't even see the hotel room bright shuns bright sunshine and breezy and it's only 34 degrees pretty chilly it's still windy this is the road up to the sin ah, we always yes, forget how to say this and they first Glacier forgot but anyways this is the this road goes up to the inspiration for Jules Verne's journey to the center of the earth and, that is the and it goes right up there. to the glacier that but the glacier this right one kind of needs a, a four-wheel drive trail so we won't try that but 180 degree difference from yesterday where it was totally socked in with fog and we couldn't even see anything beautiful views today look at that Peak right there at the National Park. I think they are glacier, but I'm not sure. All they part just of this Sniffleness National Park. Yeah, it's on the peninsula, Sniffleness Peninsula. And I'm sure if we are driving yesterday, we will see nothing. Yeah, we would not have seen any of this yesterday. In fact, we probably drove by a lot that looked just like this yesterday. We just yes. Showed up. After a false alarm a couple of days ago, we actually have two more waterfalls to go. This this is probably our final big waterfall hike. We are going to Barnafoss and Hronfosser. That's and called this child is children. Our children's last full day, and we are being treated to beautiful weather finally. No rain. And it's not it's not cold either. Wow. Oh. This is like a whole mountain, a whole side of the hill of waterfalls. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. This is pretty unique. Yeah. So they are not all the same. That's what they call fossa. Fossa. Now we are coming up to Barnafoss, which translates as the children waterfall. The legend is that a in old Iceland, a farm nearby, the parents went to church. Some of the legends say it was Christmas sun it was a Christmas day, and they left the two children at home, and they were supposed to stay home 
but they went out tried to follow the parents and they knew a shortcut that was on a stone arch that crossed the river at this waterfall and the parents returned and found that both kids had fallen off of the arch and had died in the water and the arch the arch would have been at the top here Barnafoss and the mother almost go crazy so she put a curse or she did, she's doing the witchcraft and she was cursing everybody crossing the bridge who fell into the waterfall and then the waterfall fell itself in an earthquake I mean the, the stone bridge. arch crashed itself in an earthquake but that would be a pretty rough ride if you fell in right there Barnafoss did you learn an Icelandic grammar lesson on this stop? Fossa. The pro is F O S S A R. It's not fossis. Or fossi. Fossa. Many, many fossis. Many, many foss. This is prettier than hanging leg. Right? Yeah. To compare this, this is way better than hanging leg. We are in the town of Borg, which was the home of the first settler in Iceland, the warrior poet Eilo Skyla Grimson. And they say it broke the moor. So he was here, I thought they said around 890 or something like that, but it says here 910 to, to 990. Oh, that was his son. His son was born in 910 here. The, the original settler was Skala Grimmer. And he was succeeded by his son, Eil, who is the lead, who is the main character in the most famous Iceland saga. saga. This is the burial site of the original settler of Iceland, Iceland Skala Grimson buried here and his son Ale is as we mentioned before the subject of one of the most famous sagas his 15 year old son died. died tragically drowning it's one of the popular stories and he carried his son back here to, to be buried next, next to his grandfather The original burial site was here for 900 something years. By the 1830s, they said the stones that were on top of it were mostly gone because people had taken them for other purposes and used them in building other areas. And so this was reconstructed in the 1950s, I think. 50 to 80s, I think. And it's from, they did it, the women did all of this to conserve it. This cairn is in remembrance of Borg, who was the first heroine of Icelandic sagas, who saved Ale, who became the hero of the first of the, the the biggest saga, from her father, and she tried to jump. She they were playing a ball game, and the father became mad and tried to kill her and succeeded. She jumped into the water here and tried to swim over to the island on that side and he threw a rock, it landed on her back and she was never seen again. It's a very long story. That's a short version. <laughs> now I want to find the saga thing. Okay, we passed through Reykjavik and are doing a couple of additional stops before making it back to our hotel tonight to pack our suitcases. And this one is Lake. It starts with a K. Kalefant. And is a fairly big lake in a volcanic area. They say everything is flat because it all comes from the up is another mini Yellowstone area. This one called Seltun Krusivik. And I can smell it already. Caution, hot springs, danger of steam explosions. You can see the, can see the steam. 
steam rising. This actual parking lot area is under construction right now, so we had to park across the street and walk. The area we're in is called the Ray Kings Peninsula. This area out here, close to the airport and close to the Blue Lagoon. And our audio guy told us a story of troll sisters who lived in the mountains up here and used to bake their bread in the hot springs. Bubbling mud pool. Bubbling mud pit. That looks like a nice for a mud jacuzzi. It will be very good for your skin. If you it smells so good after you take it back. Okay, another mud pool. Mm, fresh wood on the boardwalk. Bubbling pool. They say it's extremely hot. That's where an elf lives in the rock mm -hmm. and his indoor plumbing. And that's another bubbling place. Cool. This is cool. Bubble, bubble, bubble. This is much cooler than the May Mayton Lake area, geothermal area. Oh, camera's getting steamed up. I hear the hiss. I didn't see bubble for this one. A lot of hissing. Is that bubbling? We are approaching Gunavar Hot Springs. This is a big one. You have arrived. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the old boardwalk. Yeah. Underneath, right where it's blowing up right now, you can see there's a old boardwalk there. They said that that happened overnight one time when the land is shifting constantly here and the steam opened up right underneath the previous boardwalk. Not sure what year that happened. Last stop before an hour drive back to Reykjavik for our hotel tonight. It's gonna to be a late night getting back to the hotel in the city, eating dinner and getting packed and an early morning tomorrow. Vacation is almost over. Last off. Last off. Oh, and today is our anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary.